guys so today we're gonna be making some cashew chicken gaimi style and to start off I have already chopped my chicken up and I just put it in the pan there is no seasoning or nothing there we're about to go season it right now and I like to cut them really small because you know bite size and it's also gonna be going into the chow mein that I'm making over there but we're not doing a recipe on the chow mein we're just doing a recipe on the chicken cash of chicken as I mentioned before so the ingredients we need are black pepper uh, this is some chili powder some aji this is some all-purpose meat seasoning garlic powder I have half an onion some really hot pepper and four cloves of garlic to start off seasoning my chicken I'm just gonna be using some really dried um, these are thyme and tick leaf all sort of gaimi seasoning that my mom usually dries and um, we're just gonna put it in there that actually adds a really good flavor to any type of meat then we're gonna go in with the black pepper just add some really don't do a measurement for stuff then some garlic powder right in there some aji I'm gonna add all-purpose seasoning Um, chili powder and so I'm ha, just joking I'm just gonna chop this up and then I'll show you guys and in goes all my onions and I'm also gonna be adding some salt to that and if you see me struggling to do everything it's because I'm cooking with one hand and I'm doing with the other so I'm just going to give that a good stir and let it like go down, get seasoned into everything. As I mentioned before, I am using this to make um, chow mein as well. Like this chicken is for the chow mein, so I'm cooking it a little different than I usually would if I was making cash or chicken, right? So my, chi so my chicken has been cooking as you can see. It's using its own water. I haven't had any water to use it as yet. And it's kind of good. You can see all the seasoning on it. It's I like to put it like before when I'm cooking certain food for the chowmin especially. That way it gets soaked, like all the seasoning gets soaked into the chicken. Because I don't pre-season my meat. Depends if I'm baking. So usually I would use like um, grind garlic and pepper but today we are just using some garlic and um, pepper that I chipped and in we go we also want the garlic to lose flavor that actually looks pretty nice and I, that actually looks pretty nice and I haven't even add any um, ketchup to it as yet and it smells really good all the the chicken lost its water and now as you can see the bottom of my pan it is really empty so now for the good part I am going to be using some cash reef and I believe we get these from the West Indian store so we're just gonna add some it is pretty runny uh, to be honest cash reef is not supposed to be like this it's supposed to be more thicker and like it should have a better taste once it's more cooked. We're just gonna add some there. This is why it's called cashew chicken because of the cashew. And we're gonna add a little bit more. Now that seemed like it's enough. And I know my pan is really dark, but it's because we use these pans for like a uh, to cook product with a lot of oil. That way, the oil just makes it dark with the heat. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of water. And let this like cook for a little bit more and then I'll cut it off and I'll show you guys when it does when it's done what it looks like okay so because I'm going to be using this to put in chow mein, I'm not going to dry them anymore. So that's it. If you want to, you can leave more 
nice gravy in there or you can buy the more, it's up to you. I think this is perfect though.